For identifying a specimen of Populus cross canadensis, the following botanical features may be of some assistance. On a mature specimen, a very rugged, deeply fissured bark develops. As a mature tree is typically very tall, up to 35 metres in height, is not unusual. With a lot of ascending and large limbs stretching to form a crown, which is typically taller than it is broad. These hybrids are dioecious, there are separate male and female trees. On the male trees, long bright red catkins form in February to March, dropping off the tree after a relatively short period of time to litter the floor underneath the crown of the tree. On female trees, relatively long, slightly curved racemes of green flowers are born, and these, each flower being a small rounded green capsule with emergent light green stigma. These capsules then inflate and break apart over a period of about five to seven weeks, releasing a lot of thistle-like downy seed. On the spray, the leaves are alternate, rather widely spread, fluttering easily in the wind. The leaves are mid-green colour, a long flattened petiole and deltoid in shape, often with rather rounded serration evident on the margins of the leaf. The winter buds alternate, typically of a larger, strongly pointed terminal bud made of a number of green to red scales and bound together with a slight glistening resin uh, which if rubbed between finger and thumb will give a strong distinct poplar smell.